one second while I... There we go. I was uh, scooted a little far over. I had to be scooted a little. But yes, today we are doing more of Mass Effect. Pardon me whilst I... Oh, that music is really loud. Like, weirdly loud. You stop that. Let me play my video game. If it wants to... Okay. It's a weirdly long time for something to load. Especially on the PS5. But today... We're just gonna keep going through this. I realize that I've played a lot of Mass Effect and I don't even care. This is what I want to do with my life. So you'll just have to deal with it. Um, last time we got Grunt. We released him. And that was the last thing we did. We went through all the you know, Omega and all that stuff. I feel like we made some pretty good progress. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Do I have fuel and everything? I'm going to go talk to the crew. And get a good uh, relaxing start. Talk to the crew, see how they're doing. I went through and got, like, a bunch of upgrades. Like, I upgraded everything I could. Um, while we were... I, I don't care about med bay upgrade, because I don't need to... I don't, I don't need to heal my scars. I don't care. But, like, everything I can possibly upgrade, I upgraded. I even talked to people, because you can talk to your squad members. I'm like, hey, do you have any ideas for upgrades for the ship? And they'll be like, yeah, here's this upgrade that you need if you want to save people from uh, when you're in the final battle. Because if you don't have them, people will just die. Like, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you for doing Check. that. How can I help? So we're just gonna talk to Morden first, cause I love him. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lies of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. Well, what'd you do, Morden? You didn't like make it yourself. That surely it's not Morden's Gemnophage trademark. That would be crazy. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan Genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to Genophage, overcoming disease. Well, how'd that happen? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> <laughs> Never met Krogan scientist worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly curable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Well, perhaps they weren't adapting. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. <laughs> Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or a fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan will have to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. <laughs> yeah, we had a simple sample size larger than 30. Oh, well, that's great. Good for them. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. What? And what? This was like the best, this was the best choice that you had? <laughs> you never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. Uh, how'd you distribute the virus? How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. Hmm. Well, what did the modification do? How did your genophage modification work? 
Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Hmm. Well, I mean, you're, I don't know. I kind of want to hear, like, his reasoning for, like, because you're just, you're destroying them. You're fucking ruining the Krogan's, like, entire... Like, we we just did the Okir mission, right? And Okir has an interesting um, viewpoint on the genophage, where it is not just a sterility problem or, you know, whatever, stillbirth, whatever problem exactly that the genophage does. It's also an... Uh, oh, shit. What do you call it when... Um, you're studying a society and an anthropological problem. It's an anthropological problem. It's a societal, like, zeitgeist problem. Because Krogans are all about being strong. But if, if they're not strong, they're basically nothing. They basically have no ID identity outside of it. So Okir was like, well, you know what? We need to be strong anyway. This this disease is causing us to weaken ourselves because of its societal effects. It's not just about the birth rate. It's about that we don't test ourselves the way we need to be tested. We don't rear our young in the way they need to be reared because we're too focused on the detrimental effects of the genophage. So we need Grunt, who will who just will not be affected by it. You need a leader who will persevere uh, sociologically and anthropologically despite the debilitating effects of the genophage. And so it's just interesting to see that perspective and then Morden talking about this. I, and why not? Like, if, if you hate... If the Krogan are such a problem that we literally can't let them breed why not go all the way they're they're just a threat you're you're waging war on them like they're an enemy and i'm not saying that the krogan would would like willingly accept this or institute you know some kind of one child rule or whatever i don't know what the real solution would be but we're not coming up with a real solution we're living in this world where the Solution has already been found. I don't mean to start this off with um, communication major talk, <laughs> but I really love the genophage and its consequences and how it plays out through all of Mass Effect. I think it's the best thing in all these games. Um, and it's just really cool. It's it's a really incredibly interesting like premise. So yeah, why not go all the way, Morden? Why not just fucking wipe them out if, if they're if they're so terrible? If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still ha have outliers. We're have saying, outliers? I Morden Morden, is Morden based? Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Hmm. Morden, I don't know. Thanks for telling me, man. I'm not going to get up in his face when he bore himself to be like, okay, I know this is, you didn't want to hear this, but I'm telling you. Like, oh, you know what? Fine, man. Thank you for telling me. I doubt you told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Oh, well, thanks, Morden. It's, it's important to talk to your squad mates, even when um, what's her face doesn't say what's her chambers. Commander, can I help you with something? It's important to talk to them because they have really cool stuff to say. I feel like. Talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say, you run this ship tight. When we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll. I love getting out. things done. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Chill out, bro. Just, we're chilling. I'd like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? 
Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. Hmm, that's lame. I don't like that. Um, let's investigate. What is, uh, why'd you join Cerberus? What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. Don't mind their methods? You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line. I'm on their side. Um, what kind of stuff have you done? What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the council. Miranda and I stopped it. Well, why wasn't that reported? Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Oh, good for you, man. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were hmm. the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy, and they still dumped you. That's fucked up. Ah, we don't need them. We'll rub it in their faces when we save their hides again. Sounds good. Add that to the list of reasons to make it out alive. Besides not wanting to die. Again. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. Yeah. And Jacob's a cool guy. He's the best nothing party member. Because there are a lot of nothing party members. No messages for you, Commander. Uh, oh, thank you, Kelly Chambers. Uh, there are a lot of no kind of nothing party members Um, in games like this. Your Karths. They were like, yeah, that's a guy. He's a guy, and he was in the military. He sure is there. <laughs> but Jacob, I feel like, is a pretty good, like, yeah, he's just some guy, but I don't know. He's Chef, charming. Need me for something? Nah, what's up, Garrus? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Oh, no, the calibrations! Ugh! Uh, I want to talk. What do you think about the Cerberus crew? Cerberus crewman giving you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Good. They're not being racist at you. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in. Only the I can be racist at you because you're my friend. Place. They just might give us a chance against the collectors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought, um... If you talk to Garrus, he's like, oh, you know, we've got weapons are all right, but they're not perfect. There's these upgrades I want you to use. And I did that earlier because I had, uh, later, I'll be here if you need me. I had all that fucking money because I just went around and, um, and grinded that stuff up whilst I was off camera. What can I do for you? How's it going, Miranda? You doing good? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Okay, fine. Of course, Commander. You have fun. Oh, look, my head is doing the thing. <laughs> That's always fun to do. I I am easily amused. Who's in here? Oh, Kasumi. Kasumi doesn't have anything to say. If you want to like look at her shit, she'll be like, oh yeah, that was a thing. Look at a couple things. What is this painting? It looks like shit. That's my favorite piece. Painted <laughs> by a child prodigy from Elysium. 
She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep and get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She fainted after me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Aww. That's kind of cute. I was just being mean about the painting. I was, I was kidding. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels. I can't classics. see them. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. There must be smell. Ooh, you're not like other girls, huh? You love real books. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Uh, who the fuck is this guy? dared me to steal this so i broke in hacked the security put a few guards to sleep and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate they never <laughs> knew the difference my first museum job nowhere near the last okay um i think that's everything in here yeah they just have a couple of things to talk about oh there's another painting has a special place in my heart an art collector hired me to steal it when i got there is that ilos on the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's no, how not quite. And I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Hmm. <laughs> it looks kind of like maybe it was concept art for I Loss. I Loss, I Loss. I think they say it different, I can tell. Oh, this used to... This used to, like, flash colors <laughs> for no reason, I think. I seem to remember that little fucking helmet chair thing flashing like pink and blue and green and shit. Oh, that's just the restroom. And that's the crew quarters. And that's... I don't need to be in license. Um, let's go talk to Grunt. See what Grunt and, and, and Zaid... Bleh, excuse me. Have to say. Hi, Grunt. Hey, bestie. I put him in his stupid fucking light-up uniform because it looks so dumb. <laughs> this, this is like fucking Vegeta scouters. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is like holding a book for a child just remember this picture after picture no help with finding a reason to care any other human imprints what other human info was floating around in there less than a finger deep to sever your spine you're soft salarians sasari all soft quarians not so much huh. you have to work the blade i guess See much point to it though. <laughs> much point. Uh, never mind. <laughs> much point. Shut the fuck up, grunt. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. And yet you became strong. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan. Ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. <laughs> Grunt's really cool. Because he has all these Krogan impulses. And he's like, yeah, I want to be strong. I want to be the best motherfucker that there ever was. I want to stomp the shit out of guys. But I, don't, I have no reason to. I have no reason to try. I have no reason to care. I have all this genetic, like, heritage. 
And I know I should care, and I want to care, but fuck, man. <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? Very interesting character. I think, um... I went out and I mapped a lot of shit. Uh, let's see. Abandoned station. Help Kasumi. Ah, Jack. That's who I'm looking for. Let's get Jack. Let's get jacked, brother. Oh, yeah. Let's go to this planet first, though. Let's steal all their, all their resources. Ooh, was that Ezo? Yeah! You always want to try and pick up Element Zero when you see it. Because it's it's a lot rarer than the other elements. So when, uh... Like, it, it, it will literally just not come up on a lot of planets. Like, a lot of planets will have, like, Iridium, Platinum, and Palladium. Probably, primarily one like one element with the other two like interspersed around but you need to find a place with element zero to find any so you want to want to scour the planet for it when you find it i think i've probably got all the element zero i'll ever need though honestly because it's so rare you need a lot less of it That's pretty damn good. Oh. But, you know, a little more never hurt anybody. No reason to... Just, just keep grabbing it. Quit while you're ahead? Nah. Yeah, even on planets that have it, you're still probably going to get less... One more good one. Maybe one more? Huh? Huh? No, nothing really worthwhile. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hey, there we go. I had a feeling. Depleted. Alright, now we can get jacked. Oh, yeah! We're gonna be fucking going today, so... I've got my... My monster here. Keeping me, uh... Keeping me sane. Um... Who do we want? Who do we want? Let's take Grunt, because we haven't used him yet. And... Garrus? Why not? I'm the Biotic. Let's see. Collector Assault Rifle. Sizer Sniper. Cryo Round. Ionizes targets non-visible lasers are ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. And it bounces to other guys. Yeah, I think Arc Projector is still the best thing we have. I'm not just saying that because it's at the bottom. It's a DLC weapon. I'm trying to remember... I'm, I'm trying to remember what is DLC and what isn't. You know, it's tough sometimes because this game, game had so much, like, ancillary DLC... Oh yeah, I'm in my stupid inferno armor. <laughs> Hi, guy. Welcome to the purgatory, Shepherd. Your oh, they're blue suns, huh? Shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Meh. How many people are gonna fucking ask me that? I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone, stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. The weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Well, it's not gonna happen, bud. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. 
Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Somehow I don't believe you. Cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to our processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. <laughs> Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. <laughs> the ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Uh, what can you tell me about Jack? Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you? <laughs> Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Oh, and base. Crazy and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Girl boss. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. What, so it's principle? You do this because you think it's necessary? <laughs> oh no, I'm clipping through. Oh no. Governments are soft. Oh no, my armor. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Why was it doing that? It's not like this game was... I don't even know. This game was originally widescreen. Like, it had widescreen. It was late enough for that. <laughs> it's not like it was 4x3 and that was at the edge of the... I don't know. That was weird. Oh, what? It, how much does this place cost? Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't. And each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. Uh, what happens if they don't pay? What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. You scare the home worlds with the prisoners. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Hmm, that sounds, uh, pretty lame, bro. Let's get the fuck on with this so I can get out of here. Let's get on with this. I bet people try pretty hard to get out. We're <laughs> in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> We have ways of making you talk, I'm going Mr. Bomb. The funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the supermax wing. Thanks, Hoss. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Shepherd. Hi, guy. Yeah, these guys are fucking blue sons. Cringe. I person get good information that way. After a point, victims admit to anything to make the pain stop. <laughs> He's right. Torture fucking sucks. Is there something I can do for you? Literally why? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Yeah? You sure? Damn. Sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop. Fucking no. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. I'll be I'll be killing you later, so I mean uh Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Oh, uh, what's up, Yuri Lowenthal? If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. Get yourself out. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. What, for real? What's, what's up with this Jack person? Tell me more about Jack. 
Everyone's scared of them. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. What, is buying prisoners like a normal thing? I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own. If you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, bro. You are not hot. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Vinny. He don't know nothing. He off someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy oh, told based. Him a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Vinny right now. What, do they ever stop? They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. What'd you do, man? So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, you know. Hey, how's, how's life on the ship, pal? What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Smokes, clothes, your pride. <laughs> I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right, bud. I should go. Wish I could go. Wish I... <laughs> Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's night. Yeah. Yeah, you have fun, buddy. Where is this? Is this where I go? Oh, I don't like the look of that waist high cover. What if I went this way instead? I thought I might be able to get something. Oh well. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. What? Why the fuck? Come on. Oh. Can we talk about this, bro? Maybe I can change your mind. Activate systems. Oh, guess not. Time to fight. I hate systems. Turn them off. Systems suck. <laughs> Into the air you go, stupid fucking dicks. Oh, shockwave is based. Oh god. Yeah, right on your ass. <laughs> I love you, Steve Bloom. Overload this motherfucker. Oh, I didn't quite hit him. I need to upgrade it a little bit more. Mm. Elbow you. Ow. Ow! I have no shields. Didn't even realize. Once again, I'm still really used to being a... <laughs> what are you doing, bro? You, you do not... You, this is above your pay grade. That's going to open every door on the cell block. Oh, no. I'm to get Jack out of cryo. I'm doing it. Oh no, I'll just oh well oh oops. Oh I I let them all out. Crazy. Jack is small. <laughs> Jack is small. She's also super strong, I guess. Didn't like blow those off with biotics. You just kind of, kind of, kind of grabbed them. Ah! 
Jack fucking wanna see this. <laughs> Grunt's like, oh my god. I'm so down. You don't know how down I am right now, dude. Oh god. <laughs> I love every character in this game. No, oh, I, 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 oh man, I really just, come on, man. Ooh, scan. Nice. I don't think, I don't think they're going to be able to have, like, I don't think they could if they tried. I also think this mission's a lot shorter than Grunt's. Oh, look, there's a mech over there. Lovely. Oh yeah, I have war. I'm like, does it, who do, who has the armor thing? Oh, I do now. No, I'm not. Shut up. Fucking complainers around here. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Do 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 do. Is there anything on this dead body? No. I tried my best. Sounds a little stupid. I think I think I think the prisoners are based in red pilled for stabbing this man to death. But I mean also like they're assholes, so I you know. It's a it's a big like fucking asshole gumbo. They're all in the asshole pot together. Is this the right way, or is... Oh no, I missed, there was a big open door over there and I locked myself out of it. Eh. Womp. <laughs> ah, it's stupid fucking warp. Oh, dang it! It unlocked on from him as soon as I went to shoot it. I like the idea of... Like, shooting little balls at people, and it not just, like, appearing on them, like in Mass Effect 1. Like, it feels cooler to shoot a cool beam at people. It'd be like, pshaw! But at the same time, it's like... I don't know, uh... It does it doesn't they don't hit a lot and the aiming is kind of bad because it aims for the center of mass on oh nice on your bad guy and sometimes they'll go under cover while you're targeting them and you're like okay well I'll just go I'll angle it around and a lot of the times you can't it like freaks out owned Fucking headshot. <laughs> I love seeing him fly in the air, though. Like, Shockwave's cool because you just hit guys. Period. But, like, warp, it's kind of annoying sometimes. Jack. Jack. 
Oh, shit. Oh, Grunt, did you die? Bonk. Fucking skeet shooting. Let's go. Womp. It's so... It feels so good every time. Don't you do that to me. You think you're fucking cool? Who's... Oh, there's a mech down there. Oh, oh, there was a guy behind me. Oh, he just shot me in the brain. Oh, that was mis that was a mistake. I don't know how that guy got behind me. Like, how, how did Grunt die? What the hell is he doing? There's just a bunch of schmucks here. Uh... Oh... Oh... <laughs> So there's, was there stuff over here? No, there was not stuff over here. I was just worried. When a door locks behind you, you're like, oh God. Games don't do that as much anymore, but used to games would be like, yeah, oh, uh, you, you walked too far? Fuck you, you don't get thing. Doesn't matter what thing is, you don't get it. <laughs> he just... No, Grunt, you didn't have to use that after the fact. He, like, did his little charge and, like, obliterated that guy with his mind. He looked at him too hard and the guy was like, Oh, God! Grunt's scary! I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm a big fan of Steve Bloom's, like, default voice. Where he's, like, you know... You know, all the, all the voices he did for, like, the Ben 10 aliens. Where it's like, yeah, that's Steve Bloom doing his normal voice. But, um... He does a really good job as Grunt. Whoa! Like specifically Grunt is like a really great role. Oh god. Because Steve Bloom is like not the kind of voice actor you think of as like having a lot of range. Um not to say that he's bad, but he's just not that you just like think of him as like a reliable like yeah I need a person to do this voice and he's gonna fucking nail it every time you know ow I don't know how that hit me I was behind cover but okay eh. I don't know how that giant missile hit me I was behind a little fucking pane of glass die Woo. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Blomp. Find Jack. Full alert. Find Jack. Oh. Dang it. He moved at the last second. Hey, give me that guy's shit. Give me his money. No thermal clips anywhere? Nothing? All right, I see how it is. Ha ha ha! Yeah, there we go. Now we're in business. Um, yeah, looks like we're good. Eh, let me out. There we go. I got locked into cover. Hey, this room looks familiar. This looks like the last room we were in. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This one is, yeah, that. And this is the little presses. There we go. No problem. No problem. It's just as easy as pressing the button over and over. But it's more fun and engaging. And it, it, it doesn't feel as stupid. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. 
But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. I don't know that you can, dog. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. I mean, you could just put him down. Like, I'm a big fan of just putting him down. Oh yeah, he he has his uh fucking buff enemy thing. He's got shield guys. The thing from every RPG that you hate. Or every action. Honestly. How do I... There we go. I have to... I had to, like, shoot the little... Square. I tried shooting the top. Of, oh, good. His Nice. Nice benevolent architecture coming up to help me. Can I shoot this? I super can, but the damage is shit because of the range. Ooh, there's a commander. Eh. Yeah, boy. Wow. Ow! There we go. Ah, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Do not shoot me, motherfucker! Eh, <laughs> grunt. Thank you, grunt. God, this game feels so good. Like, there's just something about the rhythm of the combat that I really like. I think they sort of refined it in 3. Because I think th I think, the I think that f 3 feels really good. Like, 3 has its problems. But it's certainly not in game feel. Game feel. Ooh. I know. I like when a game, you know, feels. <laughs> I like when I play a game and I push the button and it plays. Yeah, indie slide. Cerberus. Oh, she's mad. She hates it. Oh my god, queen. Don't worry about it. What the hell do you want? Well, I'm here to rescue you. You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going. Shut to the fuck up. You. You're Cerberus. That's well, so what? Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curl figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. It isn't working out too well for him. Well, you're lucky. I don't work for them. Uh, but I'm not your enemy. I'm here to ask for your help. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Well, what kind of options you got, hon? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. Just shoot her and patch her up on the ship. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I'm not gonna do that, grunt. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. You don't have to bargain. I, I don't care about Cerberus. I'll give you whatever the fuck. I'll promise you all of Elusive Man's money. And he'll be like, Shepard, why, why did you do that, mother... Are you, are you kidding me? I'm not... Come on. And I'll be like, ah, this is my favorite shop on the Citadel. And then leave. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus... Doing... Places. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. <laughs> Bluff, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck them. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. Oh, I'm straight up. So why the hell Don't worry. I mean, uh, wait. <laughs> your tattoos remind me of the... Fucking 
physiognomy tattoo guy from <laughs> from Disco Elysium. I need to play that game. I talked about that before, how I played like 11 hours of that game and then the director's cut came out and I was like, well, I'm not playing any more of this game. Shepard's second in command. On the ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus like it was announced. to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. <laughs> okay, just give her the files. Fuck it. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be Ooh. down in the hole or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. <laughs> uh, girl boss. So we've got, we have, okay. So guys, we have Aria, we have Jack, and we have Miranda. Which one is girl boss? Which one is gaslight? And which one is gatekeep? I'm thinking personally that Arya is gatekeep because she gatekeeps Omega. That's her thing. Those other guys wanted to be the boss. She's like, no, I'm the, I am Omega. You can't have it. Motherfucker. Ooh, the elusive man wishes to suck my dick about it. That's great. I'm gonna go talk to my people. Miranda is is gaslight, cause she like doesn't tell you shit, and she's like a shady Cerberus operative. And then, um, and then Jack is girl boss, cause she's like, oh fuck you, bitch, and like crushes your skull with her mind powers. That makes sense, right? Hey. Ooh, upgrades. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Based. Okay, I actually need to do this. I could just do this at any terminal. Sorry, I meant hey. to... Do the do the implants. It's prototypes, right? Yeah, plus twenty biotic damage. Press progressive neural degeneration, which would normally decrease her potential ability to generate mass effect fields. Instead, her ability appears to be increasing. Replacing the power module in her bioamp with a higher capacity prototype module would dramatically increase the strength of Jack's biotics. Yeah, fry her brain. Fry her brain for superpowers. Okay, how do you feel about uh, Miranda and Jacob? How are y'all getting along? What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that bitch. Uh, you good on the mission, bro? Like, you gonna help and shit? What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Uh, okay. How are you doing? Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Hey, no problem. Fuck Cerberus. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. Well, like what? What kind of answers you looking for? What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. That sounds like answers. Um, so what's your next step? What are you doing now? What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. <laughs> sounds like fun. Uh, tell me about Cerberus. What's your history with Cerberus? And your experience therein. They me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. They did a good job with the lighting in this game. They fucked up the lighting in Mass Effect 1, but they really kept it strong in Mass Effect 2. I don't remember the lighting looking this good. But that silhouette looks really nice. You want... 
Do you want like a real place to sleep? Like we have like beds. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, <laughs> this ship is a powerhouse. Jump around on shit. Live like a king. I could help. Uh, I I gotta save the world. Sorry. Piracy is rad, though. We have to stop the collector. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. <laughs> She's like a child. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. You seem to really like, you know, killing things to death. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. I don't think that's... I think it's backwards. But, you know, whatever. I should go. Yep. Because that's how I think about luck, you know? Like, you know, every time a bad thing happens, you're just storing up good luck. Oh, I think I just did... Yeah! Shepard's stupid fucking... Yoink! Look at him go! Look at his horrible neck! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they didn't fix that. That that brings joy to my heart to still be able to do that. Alright, what the hell does the elusive man want from us? I heard, I heard. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. Oh shit, Ashley Williams. I got railroaded into a romance with her and then told her to fuck off. But her picture's still on my desk for some reason. I don't know. Uh, what's she doing on Horizon? Last I knew, Ash was a liner. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relations with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Yeah, that there, she was on a secret mission. You're not going to notify the Alliance? We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once getting in our way. Control, I'll send the message personally. The, the elusive man's really cool. Surely it can't be a coincidence that she's out. It the seems... Just happened to pick a colony with one of yeah, that groups. seems sus. I don't buy it. A little it sussy. Be surprised the collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. Uh, all right then. Let's fucking move. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. All righty. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> I love the little bugs. The collectors are really cool looking. Tell me you have something. I like how they pronounce yes. Morden's scars a little bit more in the in the legendary edition. Makes them make you know you can kind of notice them in the original, but in this it's really like oh yeah, like he's he's been the fuck around. Hi Ashley. We've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix. Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. 
surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Look at that. Oh, did you see that pigeon? It was fucking schmoovin' and then it did, did shrunk into nothing. That was really good. <laughs> Just, no. I'll cover you. <laughs> what was she doing? I guess she was looking through the scope. I was like, what is she doing? She's not gonna shoot the spaceship. Oh no, they got her. Ew, grody. What was her name? Lilith? I don't know if you real naming your kid Lilith. Not great. Not a... Not a quality move, I would say. Yeah, the collectors look so fucking cool. Ah, uh, yeah, here he is! Assuming direct control. Assuming control. Oh, he said he says assume, assuming direct control in the when he shows up in the in the in game. I'll never get over the guy who the first guy the first one you meet the guy who tells you that they're coming is called the Harbinger. The, the guy who tells you they're coming, the first Reaper, is is named Sovereign. And the guy who controls people and is like, oh, hell yeah, Biker Jack. I don't really need another biotic, but I want one. <laughs> Snag Garrus, too. Um, What do we got? What do we got? Uh, do I want to do this? Yet, uh, yeah. Let's, um, another 5% cooldown reduction. That's always nice. Or we could beef up our impact radius. Uh, it's only, it's not very much bigger. Throws all right. Warp is nice. Biotic power is already affecting the target. Yeah, yeah, let's do warp. Um, Weapon damage, health. Let's up concussive shot. And Jack. What's up, dog? Mass effect field levitates a target and shockwave. Uh, it's up shockwave and fall. And I love her biker fucking uniform. It's so raw. Um, oh, I meant to make, there was a Krogan shotgun I could make that I, I meant to, to research because, uh, what's his face gives it to me. Grunt. Grunt does. That's Grunt's upgrade when you ask about it. Oh, that is just a JPEG. Oh my god. I wa Where is it? That is a JPEG. Morton, you sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the Oh my god. Possible, but in limited numbers, should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms. In theory. In theory, that sounds promising. Experimental technology only test is contact with seeker swarms. Look forward to see if you survive. 
Thank you, Morden. Wow, that is a JPEG. Oh, I love it. I love collectorship.png. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at them in their little buzz wings. Their little buzz buzz wings. Uh, overload that canister, please. Yes, having another biotic on your team is so nice. Because you can just, bam, warp, done. Fucking problem solved. Yeah, the correct the correctors. The collectors are a really neat like monster to fight. I like them way more than the Geth. I mean, I, that's not true. I like the Geth a lot as like a cool race. But as villains, they're pretty, you know, they're they're pretty basic. Oh shit, it didn't go down when I wanted it to go down. That wasn't my fault. I pressed the I pressed the down and it didn't I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Okay, now you have to give me the thing. You you have to give me the thing I need, video game. Oh, just barely. Okay. But yeah, the Geth, especially once they get fleshed out a little more. The like, are disrupting communications. We're on our own now. their group intelligence thing where they link together, like, you know, like computers. It's, it's a really cool idea. Oh yeah, they have husks. And the husks don't do their stupid fucking area attack that they do in one that blows up your entire fucking part. Jack, where? How did you die? What hit you, girl? What's wrong, girl boss? I think Garrus is getting owned too. Let's just heal. I really would like my shields to be better, so I can take up like any more hits. But it's fine. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh shit. Yeah. All right. Things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. I thought the Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Shit. So the elusive man was right. The collector's answer to the Reapers. I'm gonna be real. Jack sounds a lot like one of my friends. Like, I have a friend that I hang out with on Discord. She sounds a lot like her. And she also has a similar, like, strong jaw. It's, it's it's fucking me up. Guess we know what happened to the colonists. No, the Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. The collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> the collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Mm, excuse me. It's worse than what Cerberus did to me. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. Yeah, these look different too. They look up, uh, yeah, like they have better textures. The same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. <laughs> they still die when you shoot them. Oh, well, let's go save these motherfuckers. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss man. They do look pretty cool. Peaceful. Usually. Oh. For me to get this kind of quiet. All these empty buildings. It's unsettling. 
Fuck! Oh god. Oh, it didn't lock on to it! Fucking warp. What am I supposed to do if I can't rely on warp, huh? This is like the cornerstone of biotic usefulness, is shooting warp at motherfuckers. You guys around? Oh god. I'm like, where is it? There's... Fly, bitch! <laughs> Jack, you fucking doofus. Um... Little transistor, little thing. Yeah. Like these little circuits. You have the C, you have the like, the two pressing arms. Oh god! You have the little circuit thing. And you have the uh. What's the other one? I'm trying to remember the other signal. Oh yeah, you have the little top. Oh come on! Eh, give me that. Eh. Okay. Anything in here I can steal? I mean, uh, appropriate? Pr procure? Conf confiscate steal those are all words for steal <laughs> let's get a look at these pods they look pretty cool got the little spines got the little insides the collector's like organic technology stuff is really cool ha ha metagel okay I think we're good I was hoping there would be, like, more something, but whatever. <laughs> Damn, there were, like, a bunch of explosives over here, and I didn't use any of them. Oh, well, at least we saved... I don't know what that was. At least we saved these guys. Like some type of stasis field. Leaves victims helpless but fully aware. They've been this a long time. They're holding it really well. Yeah, like if it was a nerve gas or something, they'd like just be chilling. But they're definitely like locked in place like with biotic stasis, I feel. Ooh, hack computer. Watch me steal your stuff, fucking idiot. Fucking finessed. <gasps> Moron. Shouldn't have got ganked by the collectors. Now I'm gonna take all your money. I'm Shepard. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Ooh, particle beam. Really not my favorite heavy weapon, but, you know, whatever. What am I doing? This, I'm like, where, what button am I trying to push here? Ooh, he spooked. He's got big ass fucking eyes. Oh no! Oh, here he comes. I am assuming direct control. Yeah! Assuming direct control is so iconic.
Okay, so even if... Even if he's not technically affected by, like, pull or whatever, he still gets exploded from the warp combo. Oh, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it just went through him. There you go. Fucking blastoid. Oh no, don't particle beam me. Ah, oh, he wasn't close enough. Yeah, warp your barriers. Oh, also, I turned off notifications because I got annoyed when trophies would pop up in the middle of my game. Oh no, motherfucker. I hate when he does that. When you're like already fighting some guy and he's like, nope, mine. Oh god. No, I don't. I don't feel shit. Don't talk to me. Don't act like you know me. <laughs> okay. Okay, my... My goal is in there. Anything in these? I don't think there's ever anything in those. I was watching something that I wanted to talk about, but I forgot what it was. I was watching it yesterday. And, oh, yeah, there was a new, um... I forget what the guy's actual name is, but Captain Disillusion. That guy uploaded a, uh, a VFX cool that I watched recently. I, well, I, I saw it premiere. I'm like, oh, damn. Sorry, I missed that. But I finally watched it yesterday, and that was really cool. It was about the practical effects in Flight of the Navigator, which I have not seen. One second, I need to focus on getting this shit right. Uh, but it looked like a really cool movie. It's one of those movies that I, you know, always heard about. But I never actually saw. So maybe I'll actually watch that. I loved all, seeing all the stuff they did with the, like, giant fucking physical whatever it's called the ship the like a like all nearly one ton ship that they made Company. it's so cool <laughs> now. the compositing a really cool video if you're interested in special effects which you, you know i am what are you doing out here you leave them right here uh, shut the fuck up eh you had to hear them try to get in seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? How you got a little bit of spaghetti are? on your overalls. To keep us in Alliance space. Oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. Nay, hey, fuck you, Luigi. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. Dylan. on the main grid after we lost our comm <laughs> signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of... Bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Uh, are you sure? Where Where is Ashley Williams, by the way? No, no particular reason to ask, just wondering. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would have rather she just stayed back in council space. Why was she here? Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. <laughs> I hate the fuck government. Tell me about the colony defense towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. 
had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Yeah, sounds about right. That's close enough for government work. You sure seem like you're blaming the Alliance for, like, literally every problem you have in your life. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. I mean, it's not... I don't know how to explain this to you, but the existential threat from the dark reaches of space wasn't necessarily caused by your local government. Or the federal government, for that matter. Like, I get it. Like, oh, they're wasting our tax dollars on this giant gun that does fuck all. But, like, come on, man. The collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers on mine, but mark my words. There's more to it. Whatever. We could really use those right about now, though, huh? Like, don't you think they might be, like, useful? If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. One of us should be able to figure it out. We just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. It's pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. Uh, yeah, you just wait here, pal. You'd probably get in our way. Probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, a real nice guy. I think you're gonna need it. I don't need luck. I'm the biggest fucking superhero in the galaxy. You piece of shit. <laughs> also, fuck this particle beam. We're bringing, bringing back the arc projector, baby. I like how I never use heavy weapons, but I now have five of them. Five of them. The voice cracks are alive and well today. Oh shit. Yoink! <laughs> you do it too! <laughs> direct intervention is necessary. Assuming direct control. Oh, it fucking hit the wall I'm standing in front of. Come on. Also, did he just say, like, I am the storm? Nice. See, I actually... What the fuck is that? Oh, I forgot about those guys. The guys that shoot shockwave at me. Fuck. Ow. Time to hide. This hurts you. I don't know why he said it like it sounded like he was going to say more than it hurts me. Releasing control of this fall. Concussive shot ready. Run while you can. Bonk! Fucking idiot, go in the hole! Scions. Let's look at the codex entry for that, because those guys are cool. Um, so you got husks, which are, uh, they round up and pale the dead on, uh, spikes. And it's cool. Um, they make them husks. Dragon's teeth. Oh yeah, they call them dragon's teeth. The... The spikes, apparently, which is very cool. Mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of dr the dragon Ares were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Then you got scions. 
Through the exact though the exact fate of species captured by the collectors is unclear, the humanoid appearance of the scions gives ghastly clues. The scions' frame and skull are similar to those of human or Asari, but the bone structure is overlaid with a metallic resin. Posthumous examination of their bodies reveals a skin tone resembling that of reaper husks, but their transformation process seems more extensive. Like husks, they are cybernetically modified on a nano scale so they can operate even in a hard vacuum. Hoses, rather than veins and muscle tissue, join major portions of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle, turning the creature into a humanoid weapons platform, and a fleshy sack is supported by the creature's head back and head. These sacks contain brain matter and spinal tissue, tissue, too much to have come from just one victim. This indicates scions are an amalgam of several individuals, with one primary victim providing the frame and several secondaries providing the flesh for a decentralized, semi-mechanical nervous system. This decentralization makes them highly resistant to gunshot wounds. Even a headshot is not a certain kill. The scions weapons, however, indicate that scions retain some living tissue, or at least sustain some of the same electromechanical elect electrochemical reactions as those of a human biotic. The weapon creates a powerful warp effect, which is consistent with the ESO modules visible in the Scion's expansive nervous system. Given the rarity of human biotics, it seems likely that these dust form ESO nodules are deposited during their transformation, rather than requiring a biotic victim in the first place. So yeah, there you go. They fucking inject brain fluid and spinal fluid and fucking gray matter into these people to pump them up into fucking shockwave machines. It's so metal. The collectors fucking rule, dude. Uh, anything around here? No, it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of space. Once again, there's a the Mass Effect 2's environments like, it looks like you're supposed to sort of move forward and position yourself differently, and there's lots of cover in different places, but you really just end up sitting in one place and letting all the guys come to you. Which, I don't know, it is what it is. It's not like it's that much of a design oversight, like... Surprised we haven't run across more frozen colonists. Probably loaded onto the collector ship by now. We should hurry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, we're, we're further in now. Okay, so our objective is, is back that way. So we can go up here and not worry. Should I read more of those codex entries? Like, do y'all care about that? I don't know. Because I, like, I think it's fun. I Like, you know me. I like reading shit. I like... Uh, examining the lore. But if you just want me to get on with the gameplay, feel free to tell me. If not, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm gonna do what I want anyway. It's that thing, like, you really, you can't convince anyone of anything, really, because everyone is just gonna do what they want. That was one of the first lessons that... Uh, this communications teacher taught me. He was like a, he was like a speech guy. Oh, look at that grass. He was like, the important thing to know about giving a speech is that you actually can't convince anybody of anything, and you need to be okay with that. There's no surefire out. There's no surefire way for you to. Oh my God! They just fucking ruin you. For you to get across what you want to say and change somebody's mind. It just... Ow! 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 Fucking get out of my face. It... Oh my god! Those shockwave dudes are rough. That was immediate. And that sucked. <laughs> anyway, but there, yeah, there's no absolute way to convince someone. Or even really way to... Okay, yeah, they're just over there. There's not even a good way to to guarantee it. You just have to be... You just have to make your point and then sort of hope for the best. 
which is which can be frustrating but it's just the way it works you know you have to be okay with it you're never really gonna be able to ensure something like that and that's you know for the better because ow 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 okay unity oh god Fucking stay away from me. Okay, get that explosion going. Oh no! Oh god, no ammo. Stay away from me, stay away from me! Boy, are those guys trouble. Yeah. Oh, they really made these husks pretty awful. <laughs> Into space you go, motherfucker. Oh god, are there more? Yeah, it hacking definitely does not stop. <laughs> definitely does not stop things from happening. You kind of got to... I remember there are some times where I would just be like, nope, don't care. But it's hard to do, because they will interrupt you. Actually, I don't even think that they interrupt you. Like, if you're hacking and they hit you, it doesn't take you out of the minigame. So they'll just wham on you, and you're dead. Alright, well, we could use some help with the towers. Can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I mm. recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Great. Well, great. Right piggy in the middle while she sorts out the batteries. Anything else? Got any other helpful tips? Just <laughs> enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. <laughs> Thanks, Edie. What a hero. Right time to run over here, because this is like... The best place. Ow, what hit me? No sweat. Okay. I figure if we all get in the same spot, we can kind of make this work. Oh, jeez. Face my fear. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. We're using the arc projector. Oh god. Actually, that motherfucker's gonna try and kill me. Um, nah, singularity. We'll just put that there. I want it to be wider. I want I want it to be more like they walk into it and just fucking die. And like get caught, but they really don't. They don't want to do that. Which I do not appreciate. I want them to want to do that. No, don't do that. You don't need... It's really okay, bro. I'm going to speak to your manager. Your job is forfeit. <laughs> the power of corporate is immovable. <laughs> there is no shelter from HR. Oh no. <laughs> Nothing can stop yeah. <laughs> Fucking shockwave gang. Let's go. Oh, I have no bullets in this. 
Is there anybody else? Are we done? Get ready. Gotta be okay. No, no chance. <laughs> no chance for that. Having them here worked out pretty well. Oh god, how'd you get here? Oh god, you're next to me. Oh god, they're really in a bad spot. Okay. I didn't really think they'd be coming in from this side. That's fine. We'll make it work. Uh, maybe, no, you know what? Edie, I was thinking I would just stop. I was thinking I just wouldn't do it anymore. But you know what? You've, you've convinced me. <laughs> Fucking whatever. God, Shockwave's so good. Just smacking people out of cover. Like, even if they still have their shields, you can... They'll, like, stand up and go... Bleh! No way that's it. Gotta be more soon. Yeah, I was thinking there'd probably be one more wave. Yeah, look at the JPEG! Oh, God, here's these guys. I forgot about these fucking dudes. Oh shit! Praetorian. Ew. Oh god! It fucking wrecked me. I think he's invis invis invisible. I think it's invincible while it does that. Ow! Not ow, actually. That didn't even hit me. Oh, that one hit me though. Oh fuck. Okay, it's gonna try and. Yep! Oh no, run away! Ow. Alright. Combo. Oh god! Ow! These things are fucking scary with their. with their mouth full of. Fucking skulls. Ooh. Okay. I forget. I forgot that machine guns tend to do better on. Ooh. Tend to do better on armor, or shields and barriers rather. And the pistol does good on armor. I forget because it takes so long to switch from gun to gun, but. If you're actually using it on the specialized, like, type of health it wants you to, it's totally worth it. It's just hard to remember because it feels kind of bad. Oh, well, fuck. At least we chased him off. No! Don't let him get away! Oh, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't do that. I totally... There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Now let you mention it. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something. They, could, they took Egon. Okay, well, what do you want me to do, man? I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Captain of the Normandy. The first human specter savior of the citadel hi ashley you're in the presence of a god delan back from the dead oh the good people we lost and you get left behind <laughs> screw this i'm done with you alliance type. motherfucker I thought you yeah were it railroaded me into a romance. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Uh, I guess it's good to see you again, though. Been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it. 
You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened. Oh my! Well, what did you want me to do, huh? Something real. I. I loved you. I thought you were dead. I almost. How could you put me through that? Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I wasn't even conscious. Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now? Garrus yeah, kind of based, too. right? I can't believe it. Garrus is also here? Reports. You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Wah, come on! We're not the enemy, dude. Our colonies are disappearing. The Alliance turned its back on them. Cerberus is the only group willing to do something about it. Bullshit. I know what Cerberus is like. They talk about putting humans first. But at what cost? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You got a cool new biker girlfriend. On all of us. You betrayed the Alliance. Anderson, you betrayed me. <laughs> I'm not a traitor. I literally just woke up. I'm I'm trying my best here. And also, like what did you want me to do? Go back to the alliance? Fuck those guys. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The collectors are targeting human colonies and they're working with the reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? Is her audio what freaking is out? Or is that just me? Ones working with the collectors? Damn it, Williams. So focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. <laughs> you're too emotional, Ash. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Or maybe it's Doesn't you. <laughs> I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm, I'm a fucking I'm cop. Sure. It's in my blood. <laughs> I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. C come on, man. You come with us. Actually make a difference. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. Goodbye, Shepard. Just try to be careful. It's so stupid. They'll give her, like, a nuanced opinion half the time. Like, I don't know. I don't really care. Blah, blah, blah. And then they'll be like, I'm no fan of aliens. Like, man, come on. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a level. Collectors escape with approximately one-third of Horizon's population. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Front Corporation will... Funnel supplies, monetary aid to colonial survivors. Collector leader, Harbinger, demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, indication of hive mind among collectors, or even reaper technology at work. Sav salvage teams captured collector bodies for study. We got that. Got some money. Got some platinum. 